really simple way of telling if you got mag or aluminum. First thing, you can almost tell the difference by the sound. But, some good old vinegar. Now you can see the mag is reacting and the aluminum is not. The mag will fizz, bubble, aluminum won't. Easiest way to check. Um, if you're not able to do that, another way I've done it is actually just get it, take a little shaving off, see if the stuff's flammable. Um, if it lights up, it's mag. If it doesn't, um, for the most part, it's aluminum. But depending on the grade of mag, you'll, you might get some that's a little more flammable than the others. But yeah, that always works good. The stuff is flammable, but a solid chunk like this won't just burst into flames. What you gotta worry about stuff like this shavings dust machine chips any little part you just got to be safe around and it itself won't just burst into flames either get enough going on it and it goes up pretty easy so you always got to be careful about that All right, for the prep, um, a lot of people say that you need to brush off the part before with a wire brush. Um, I mean, if you're one of those people, more power to you. For me, I mean, the AC on the welding machine breaks up the oxide there. That's, that's what it's made to do. So, you can wire brush it. If you do it, I'm gonna do it the same way as aluminum, you just go one direction. Until you get down to some clean looking metal. I really haven't told can tell the difference between brushing it and not brushing it. Um, if you have something that's really dirty then yeah, of course you're gonna want to clean it, but I, I work with clean new material. So I tend to just use some acetone, give it a wipe, and um, I go from there. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up. Um, this is the brush side. So I'll weld this side first, weld the other after acetone music here. Clean it off real good. Same filler. And uh we'll get some welding going. Alright, something else you guys will notice while welding magnesium is the, the color of the arc. The arc gives off a very bright green hue to it. And also the arc is pretty erratic. It wants to jump around. It wants to try to catch other edges of what you're trying to weld. So I tend to keep a really, really close gap on my tungsten, almost to the point where you're dragging it through the puddle. Um, when weld the magnesium, it doesn't, the puddle won't try to jump up or your filler won't try to jump up to your tungsten. It actually kind of avoids it, which is weird, um, unlike aluminum. Um, you can see in here where it took a second for the arc to initiate. You can see that little arc strikes around there. Other than that, it, it cleans up and, and welds pretty fine after you get it going. But it is a very erratic arc. And depending on the gas that you're running, I run a helium argon mix. The argon seems to tame out that arc a little bit instead of running a real high helium mix. 